Okay, so boom, how cuz got fired, sent to the back for <laughs> messing with that boy. One thing for sure, two things for certain about the penitentiary. Listen, ain't no secrets. Somebody either saw it or somebody heard it. And just because they didn't speak on it, don't mean that you got away with it. Because a lot of people just G enough to be like, you know what I'm saying? And ain't none of my business. I'm gonna keep that to myself. But eight times out of ten, <laughs> somebody gonna tell you. They either gonna use it for a strategic way to uh, uh to get something that they want. It's a hidden agenda because I promise you, this is chess, not checkers. Penitentiary rules in effect, <laughs> dramatic effect, me please. So we're going to school. This before I get get my GED right. When we come through the school, listen, them folk gotta do all kind of patting down and anything because it pops off at the school. They'll bring them butchers in there. You know what I'm saying? Get in there. Next thing you know, <laughs> they moving them desks. <laughs> I go, and, and it's going down and up. So they come through, you know what I'm saying? They doing their little pat down or whatever. And it's his vice lord that hollered this crip. And he was like, man, I got to holler at you. I got to holler at you about something. He was like, there was a way till we get the class. You know what I'm saying? Because the police are all out. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what it is that they finna talk about. So we get up to the class. Everything gets situated. He holler. Hey, uh, you know, five, you know what I'm saying? They done max five out. You know what I'm saying? Brother sent the kite out here and I said, you know what I'm saying, to collect his debt. He was just like, man, brother said, you owe him a little 50 spot or whatever. He was like, man, you can get that to me. You know what I'm saying? He's, the homie said, the five people, my people said, you know what I'm saying, he trying to get him some tobacco. And off the top, commercial break, please. Do get, because I know y'all going to, what he get maxed out for? Do get maxed out in the child hall for doubling back in the child life. Now, listen to me. Let me tell y'all something for the one. Who, who still want to play these cocaine reindeer games in these streets and want to throw, throw rocks at the pit and want to go to the penitentiary to see if what I'm telling you is, is reality. And you're going to get yourself a reality check. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of these dudes who go to the penitentiary that was the man on the street, a lot of them, they, they had every child call. They had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Listen to me. And some of them done signed up at the clinic so they can get a snack at night because <laughs> they, broke, they broke busted and disgusted in the penitentiary. This dude... Doubling back in the child line. And as he doubling back in the child line, the police, the lot of times, they, they'll remember you. Depend, sometimes depending on really who you is, they'll let you go. Go on, go on, go on. And some of y'all, some of them dudes in there, you, you done been getting on the police nerds. You, 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 listen, you a nuisance. Hey, hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You already got you a tray, man. Put that tray down. It's Burger Day. Put that tray down, man. Go on. Man, come on, see, old man. Watch out, man. You act like you paying for the food and stuff. Come on, man. Come on. And you trying to fade on by the police. The police done stop them. Let me tell you something. And when the police put their hand on you like that, don't, don't, don't do it. Because as soon as your skin touch their skin, <laughs> listen to me, it's assault on the officer. I don't care if you were just trying to move out of the way. Don't you touch that police. You, that's, that's, max, that's a guarantee five years on mass security. You ain't going to get no good time either. You don't know what good time is? Let me know you ain't never been in jail. You ain't never been in prison. You ain't never been in juvie. And if you ain't never been in jail, been, been a juvenile, you ain't never been in jail, juvenile or prison, listen to me, I advise you to never go to name one of them. Dude, he tried to walk on by the office. No, nah, man, I told you, man, put that tray down. Put that tray down. You, know, you always doubling back in that line. He tried to walk by the officer grabbed him. Man, come on, get up off me, man. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. The officer smacked the tray out of his hand. When he smacked the tray out of his hand, of course, fire taking that in disrespect. Because now all the inmates looking at, I done let that police boo you up. I'm going to tell you something. That press in penitentiary. Feeling like you must respond to certain things on the strength of what everybody gonna think and what everybody gonna say. Oh, you got to go and handle your business now. You don't let that. You don't let the police slap the tray out your hand like that. They gonna fade you just like that. Go on and go to Max because he done slapped that tray out your hand. Guess what he do? He go in go mode with the police sprinkle. Pow! Him and the police get. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The police get the best of that boy with all that equipment. <laughs> so, by this time, five them of course. Man, come on, five. Oh, y'all ain't going to jump in and ride with him with the police? Because cause everybody don't want to go to Max. Man, guess what they going to say? Man, I don't know what. Man, five was tripping, man. If he was hungry, man, he could have just waited till we got back to the park. He could have went to the box. You know what I'm saying? Or I would have gave him some food. I would have gave him a super too. Man, I ain't finna crash out. I ain't finna crash out because bro want to give him another birth. I ain't even on that fine. Oh, no, no. Just go on the aid and assist him. Because if it would have been an inmate, <laughs> if it would have been an inmate, Somebody y'all was just gonna go to the hole for that would have slapped the tray out of hand. You were gonna nah go ride on the police too. Go ride on the police too. Five you 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 tough when it's when it's when it's one of these inmates. Go and get you a mandatory five for you and your brother. I know you ain't got no TV. I know you ain't got no radio. I know you ain't got no CL20s. Huh? You can then you a pretty child. I know you ain't got no commissary. 
I know you ain't got to listen. Back, back on Mac, it what? You ain't going to be able to go, hey, 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 hey. Hey, now all that yelling through the door, and that, now you're having to use the fishing line for somebody to pass you a suit. Yeah, that's a, oh, you thought about that, then. You thought about that. <laughs> so they get to fight. Of course, they max dude out. A lot of times, when people get in trouble and go to the hole, they finna go to another picture, they try to send kites out to get their debts collected. So he done sent the kite to one of the brothers and told him, you know, cuz owe him a little, a little fitness spot. He called himself trying to collect the debt for him. And the crip telling him, man, I'm not giving nobody nothing because people like to play penitentiary games. They might have knew of the debt. He probably ain't never sent this kite. And even if he did send the kite, it's plenty of dudes who will go ahead and collect the debt, send the kite back, back there and say, man, he said he ain't got it or this, this, and that. It's all type of reindeer games played with that. Now, the crip, even though he's saying what he need to say as far as, man, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Whenever he get where he going, if he get on the horn, you know what I'm saying, get in touch with me, holler at me himself, you know what I'm saying, I'll take care of that. Because somebody can write the letter, man, here go the kite right here. This I don't know if he wrote that because people play them. I got plenty of stories like that. People play them type of penitentiary game. So he tell him, nah, I ain't doing none of that. He was like, man, come on, man. You know I ain't made the home. Man, my people, man, trying to get straight before he go to, you know what I'm saying? He finna get maxed out. He need everything. Man, I'm not doing none of that. When he say that, the teacher here was going on. The teacher, hey, 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 I need to take care of your, your, your personal business. When y'all get outside the class, when y'all go back to the part of wherever y'all going on the yard, y'all can take care of that after school. Because, hey, I, we ain't got to take care of nothing after school. It's already took care of. It's, it's, a, it's a DI. It's, it's over with. We ain't got... He like, oh, you ain't taking nothing, cuz. I don't know why five five say that. It's the tone. It the pitch into rules in effect. Dramatic effect me, please. When you say, oh, you ain't taking nothing, cuz. You ain't taking nothing. What you mean I ain't taking nothing? I ain't never say I was taking nothing, but on the strip of that now, it's over with. You can tell your people. <laughs> so they get into it. Next night. So, of course, they go into the hole. I'm cool with one of the Crip homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Like we, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I ran with some of them Crips in there, I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of them, some of them was silent. Some of them, it's just like in commercial break. It's just like in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You, you play a chess in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Just like dudes in the street feel like they gotta have the muscle, they gotta have the hustler, they gotta have the smart guy, they gotta have the flunky, they gotta have the runner. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Leadership, Leadership mentality in the streets is aimed that way. It's the same thing when you transfer that energy over into the world that I'm in now. You gotta have your smart guy. You gotta have your muscle. You gotta have your your your, your, your runner. But it's this it's just in a different category because people you you have to in order to be a great leader you have to understand everybody's role and position in order to guide and instruct properly because everybody does not uh, uh have the same assignment everybody not capable of the same thing that's something that I'm learning on set right now like you you got the producer and the producer got the he got the eye he can see certain things he just he just understand his role but then you got the wardrobe person the wardrobe person just know uh, he or she this what ah uh, this will look good they just have an eye for that. The producer can't go in there and do that. The person who got all of the props and stuff like that, they know, okay, this is the scene they're doing today. Got, the producer ain't got no eye. What, what he missing? I didn't need to get the handcuff. You just understanding the roles of everything. And it's the same thing. And I'm, I'm trying to put you up on guy. When you transferring that energy. See, in the streets, in the streets, in the penitentiary, I'm using street senses. Certain people that I'm cool with, this opposition that we would consider oppositions or whatever you want to, however you want to look at it. I still understand, oh, this one right here, he's a talker. I'm cool with him on the strip of, I might give him something free every now and then because when it's time to gossip and I need some information and I need to get him out, people, they going to run their mouth. Hey, what you got going on, man? Man, I ain't doing nothing, Joe T, man. Man, this, get what? Man, that's crazy, ain't it, bro? You... What's what? What that ain't what? What happened this time? Boom, they gonna get the run in their mouth. You got certain dudes that you know just the muscle. You know what I'm saying? You can sit around. I ain't ain't Joe T, man. I seen that the other day. Man, you know what I'm saying? If you need me, you, and you keep them on your side for that. You know, it's just certain, it's just, it's the same thing. It's the same. So, so we sitting in the pod, 
These dudes, when they get out of the hole, they put five back at the top of the hill with us. They put the 33. You don't know what the 33 is. Let me know. You ain't never been feeling that. You ain't never been feeling that. I've asked you never <laughs> become feeling that. They move him on the bottom of the hill. So, of course, the Crips done already probably talk to the talk to Vice Lord, talk to the people. They done say, you know what I'm saying? It was a dead issue. It's squash. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be no issue. They trying to get their homeboy back up here. So uh, sometimes, because you already, listen, did, did, some people look at it as police and some people look at it, it, it don't. But if you already confirm and you having to go holler at the captain, the captain, oh, no, 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 we had to separate them. They done got to fight them. We ain't not. No, no, cool, cool. You are confessing to the captain that you are a crip or you confess that you a vice lord. So they sometimes they going to roll. Man, look, I, already, I got his people with me. You know what I'm saying? They already done said, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's a dead issue. Cap man, if anything, you know what I'm saying? Happy, you know what I'm saying? You can put that on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can put that on You know what I'm saying? We telling you it's a dead issue. They just trying to get that homeboy up there. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation. Sometimes it happened like that. Just so it happens, they say they going to let their homeboy come back to the top of the hill. So I'm sitting here talking to the little homie. He talking back, you know what I'm saying? We converse. We have the whole little conversation. And as we talking, you know what I'm saying? The homeboy coming in the park. He shaking his head. He, man, shh. I said, what's up? <coughs> he said, man, cuz said that ain't over with. I said, well, do what? He said, man, yeah, cuz said that ain't over with. You know what I'm saying? Even though they done got it moved up here, he said, but the homeboy's already done told him. As long as he cool, we're going in there rap. Hey. Go and do what you don't, don't do, because we already done gave five now that, that it was a dead issue. You know what I'm saying? You want to come back in here and start something, get the pod locked down, call some heat up in here. You know what I'm saying? Bring something down on Cud them, because Cud them done gave Captain in the word and done told him, ain't nothing going to happen. You come up here playing these game. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's over with. They already done told Cud. You come up here, going in there, thank you. But see, look, check this out. This, this is what I was saying about them Trump cards in the penitentiary. I tell dude, I say, shoot, he probably ain't even really got to worry about it. Dude ain't finna be around here but long. He was like, Shh, yeah, yeah. But he ain't one of them dudes to ask what exactly am I talking about. I'm talking about the whispers that's going around that he's supposed to be sneaking in, 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 in yeah, with, with the boy. How I find out, I'm around the guys one day. The guys throw it up in the air, you know what I'm saying? How they find out. I don't know. Nine times out of ten, somebody done seen something. Somebody done heard something. Probably one of his own brothers ready to put him in that thing thing, ready to get him crossed out, and they just waiting to catch him. Now, when stuff like that starts spreading around, eventually, everybody going to know what's, what's what, what's being talked about and what's going on. So when they move him back up there, of course, he found out about the rumor. Man, yeah, because I'm pretty good. Cause you know, do such and such and such, such. Oh, for real? Commercial break me, please. Let me tell y'all something about them playing them perverted rainbow games in the penitentiary. Most of the time, people that play them perverted, them perverted rainbow games, it it always end up being the gang members. It's because they, they always think they can slip and get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Or they feel like them boys ain't gonna say nothing because they affiliated and they know if you lying on somebody that's affiliated, you know where you're going. You going to the back. But see, let me explain something to you. That see, the tactic of the enemy when it comes to them perverted rainbow games, especially in the penitentiary, what the enemy understand is there are a bunch of men within this institution that have a natural it's a natural desire that come from the most high for you to like a woman. So you got these dudes in here that's already messed up. And what they do is, they, you can act like, because I'm going to shoot it straight with you. Because I don't, you can say what you want to say about me or other. I'm going to, I'm going to, listen, I'm going to pop, pop, come off the hip and keep it 1,000 with you. Any dude who been to the penitentiary and there's been some boys in the park who was dressed up and moved, they saw that. Not to say that they was looking. I said they saw it. Now, you know, you see the boy walk around. He got his pig tuck. He trying to create the illusion of a cat. So, he is giving print. Then he going to walk by. He going to have these shorts. He probably done washed them so many times. He going to wear them tight. He going to be walking hard like he on... Like he on project floors. So, his little booty jiggling. He going to do all that to create the illusion of to get in your mind and penetrate your mind to get you to come into agreement with, oh, that's a woman. 
No, we're not going to play them types of games here in the division. But that's exactly the tactic of the enemy. But then it go even further because here go the penitentiary uh, 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 reindeer games that come behind it. <clears throat> the goal is to think, make you think, oh, <coughs> excuse me, got a little cold, to make you think you can get away with it. But then once you get reeled in enough, and you get caught, this is where the pressure really hit. The pressure gonna hit because now you got a bunch of men who making you feel some type of way. Now you walking with your head down. You shattering what's already broken. Now, the any sense of pride is gone. You can't speak, you can't do nothing because the gang members and the other dude get what they, oh man, you are. So I don't care how real you was, how gangster you were. Everybody know that them boys are right. But it's different when you got the one who been uh, 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 on the down low and now he done get caught. And now everybody breaking you down even more. So it's going to force you in the position to where you feel alone. So now you done came all the way over on the island and you playing and you with these perverted rainbow games. Now, because now you to yourself, and I'm gonna tell you something else. It ain't gonna be a man in there who gonna be real enough. Probably somebody who done failed for the perverted rainbow game before. It ain't gonna be no gang members. It ain't gonna be none of your homeboys. It ain't gonna be nobody man enough to pull you to the side, call you in the cell and be like, look, man, bro, I love you. I, got, I ain't got nothing but respect for you regardless. You know what I'm saying? Look, check this out. And try to get some insight and talk to because the penitentiary is just not that kind of place. They're going to push you further and further until you jump up off that edge. And now, what you done did, you probably done got you a little taste. And now, the word done got out. And now, you done had to come full-fledged with it. The gang members don't want you. The, the even, even the ones who neutral. They they gonna pick on you and talk about you because when they pick on you and talk about you, they got the the people who affiliated got they back now because you with the perverted rainbow game. So now you don't have no fight at all. So in this story right here, the strategic move is if I can't put my hands on them, I just put them in there, big boy cross, and then guess what's gonna happen? He he gonna go to the back. They gonna let him stay, and guess what? This, this is one of the sayings I learned a long time ago. A, a real man died once. A coward, he died a thousand deaths. And what they're saying is, if you really, you could take, you know what I'm saying? You you cool. The coward dying a thousand deaths, constant shame. It's like dying another death of a man, whether man or woman. Constant embarrassment. It's like dying another death. Low self-esteem is like dying another death. Constantly keeping your head down. Depression. You stressed out. You, you getting picked on. You getting bullied. You getting and people wonder why these people commit the unalive events. Because a coward die a thousand deaths is so heavy on you. It's just like going to the penitentiary and once you was real. And now when you get here, you you called a rat. You worry so heavy because society. Has 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 made it as if I don't care how many dudes you done shot, how many licks you done hit, how many bricks you sold, how many pounds you had shipped through the mail coming from Cali. I ain't trying to tell on nothing. Of y'all. I'm just saying, I don't care. I don't care how much you done did. I don't care if you can if you can cook coke and turn one into two. I don't care about none of that. I don't care how many women you done slept with. I don't care if you done hit rob banks or I don't care how many real people you slap. None of that. Listen to me. I don't care. The minute you put your name on that paperwork and you come to the penitentiary and you're exposed, that coward, they're going to make you die a thousand deaths because every time you get, you got to live with the reality of that. You, you got to sleep with the reality of that. You got to sleep with the reality that a real coward on the strength of that they can say, ah, oh, but you, you told you, you, a coward die a thousand deaths. Solid person died once. So, in this situation, of course, the rumor get to the homeboy. Now, everybody already know in Pentagon how people try to sneak and get high star every time. I don't know why people believe that the tactics of the enemy switch up. He he do the same thing. He don't he don't got no new tricks. He might use a different vessel, 
But it's gonna be it's gonna be he try, it's the same agenda that get you lost out here. People already know one of the main moves is when everybody go to child, you sneaking into somebody's cell. That's the number one move right there. That's the the well known move of the beginning of somebody going to play them perverted rainbow games in Pentecost. And the and the most well known time is breakfast time, child, because. Lunch time and dinner time is different. Lunch time and dinner time, it depends on what the meal is if everybody going to go down there. Breakfast time, everybody might not go, but everybody might not be up moving around yet. Some people probably still laying in their bed. Some people might be watching the news. Some people might be reading. Some people might still be resting or getting their cell together. And so the morning time is different. And of course, this dude, five, who was going to collect this debt, he coming out in the morning times and he going over to this boy Zell. Now, of course, he only doing it on the good breakfast mornings and he going down there. And five of them probably know, but sometimes the investigation, stay back and see what, see what the, you ain't got to do that. Because like I said at the beginning, ain't no secrets in the penitentiary. They going to get you. So now that an enemy, somebody who wants your head, because that time he ain't probably lost the fight. Now, he, he want to catch you. He get the phone from the homeboy and record this man from across, from across, like how the sales is. You got the sales. Well, the sales on the back wall is the sales who can see when they coming from child. This is how you know it's some perverted rainbow games in. You only, you going to come out of your cell and go there when everybody go on the child. And then you coming out of the cell because you watching out that back one and you see everybody coming out, coming back, and you coming out of the cell before everybody get back. He record this man two, three times coming from coming from over and coming from coming out of his cell, going downstairs, going in the boy's cell, and coming out of that cell before them people get back, before them people get back in chat. Finally, he he ready to bust his move. The, the crip come out of the cell, call the man out. Are you around here such and such and such and such and such? Listen, when you hear stuff like that in the penitentiary, everybody ears is, everybody antennas is up, everybody head and attention is, is attentive to who, where it's coming from and who's saying it. And then everybody gonna get to looking around. I'm looking at them, they looking at me, we all looking at each other. And they wondering, who is that directed to? So of course, cuz, who you talking to, cuz? Oh, he already know who I'm talking to. He said, such, 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 such. Oh, he got to snatch that out the earth. He got to snatch that out the earth. Now, at this point, that was the boy, the boy on the, the boy in the pod, too. So when he called it out and dude get ready to say something, the boy go to his cell. He walk out. Oh, that's a tail sign right there. Why you just speed walk and run and go out to the cell? And of course, find them. Oh, we ain't know how oh, you ain't finna be. Nah, I got your home, boy. I, I got proof. I got, he got, what? Now, at this point, he got to go on and try to fight him. Because when he's saying he got proof, listen to me. <laughs> if he got any kind of proof, listen to me. The boy probably finna go to, the boy probably already packing his stuff. Because, look at this, somebody finna, somebody finna go to the back. So, when dude get up, he, oh, nah, what's up? They, nah, 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 fine, then what you mean you got proof on fire? These rumors already been circulating. Old head Nick. Oh. Uh, Oh, he threw. They go to the cell when he in the, he pulls out the phone and show them which he don't have no proof that he was in there going all up in that man back, but he got the proof that he going in at the child and then he coming out before they make it back. Now that's a decision to make. Now this this is the crazy thing about organizations. That ain't real proof. That's proof that he went in the cell. It ain't proof of the actual action. So, the only way that's coming out is pressure on the boy. And 9 times out of 10, all them boys in the penitentiary done been in a situation when they come to them affiliates and when they got something like that, they going in there and they putting pressure on the boy. Now, let me run you back real quick when I was telling you about the rant. Now, I done been to several places and been in pods where they don't allow them boys to walk around and be flamboyant. You gonna be a boy. You gonna be a boy. You know what I'm saying. You, but all of that extra stuff going on because your goal is try to to, to entice. Now a lot of dudes ain't gonna 
they do because they get they trying to protect their own self too when they saying they look they trying to protect their own self too you know Bennett come on bro quit playing these ranger games in here so this boy already knowing when stuff like that hit the fan they come to the ass they come to the ass and nine times out of ten in the pen them boys they gonna tell the truth because the word gonna be man we know we already know what's up with you you ain't on the dl you ain't in the you ain't in the closet. You ain't running around here acting like that ain't what you want. If somebody came over here on that, that that's what they wanted to do. But they sneaking it and then think they gonna run around. No, 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 no. So you good. You you good. You can stay on the compound. You ain't got to check in. But if you lying and something come out, you you going to the coop. You you both y'all go to the coop. Y'all go back there and be laid up together. However you want to do it. But one thing show, two things sir. Somebody going. So what's up? So when he's showing them on the phone, they come out of that cell. Of course, they got dude, like I said, we got GD police. I'm guessing they got vice lord. They got they got vice lord police too. So they got dude, they got dude out to the side. They come out and go to the boy cell. When they go to the boy cell, they come, they stay in there for however long. They come out of the boy cell and they go talk to five. When they come out of five cell, this how you know it's a you got a roll. When they come out of fire cell, they ain't putting no, they ain't put hands on because they gonna give you a certain amount of time. They gonna go, they go in fire cell, come out, and they secure the door. The violation is up. Ain't been no fighting, no scuffling. Of course, you can hear some arguing. Whatever the boy said, ain't no running over here try to jump on the boy. None of that. You had 24 hours. So, 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 put the violation up, cause the, <laughs> cause the won this war by playing chess. Not checkers, checkers. Call them on candy camera. The boy tell what's going on because the boy want to stay on the compound. Put the violation up. You got 24 hours with lockdown. You can go to the back. You can come out here tomorrow. It is what it is. You don't want to go back. You don't, you, it's either force or choice. You ain't there playing these perver perver perverted rainbow games. Let me tell you something. Even though he go to the back, he going to go to another penitentiary. When he get to another penitentiary, the word gonna spread there. He can he could try to go there and say, "Nah, I wasn't doing that. This way it happened, man. Brother them crossed me. I went in there. The boy lied. Cause the boy this is and sometimes they'll put you back on count and say this is a whole nother institution. Then nobody had no solid proof. Bro, good brother. He solid. We going He fine. Sometimes it'll go that way. Other times, listen to me. The tactic of the enemy is gonna be strong. You gonna get there, rumor going, man, he was down there, such, 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 man, for real, man, for, listen, even though you ain't full-fledged, your respect, all that ego, all, listen to me, it's either gonna be all the way amped up because now you're trying to fight it, you're trying to hide it. I had a guy tell me one, this one I was saying that I got molested, I used to do this thing, in prison called Bible Buddies, right? And I was, and this is when I started getting comfortable with talking about me being molested by a family member. And I had somebody that was in the Bible Buddy hit me up and tell me that it had happened to them before when they was younger. This is somebody I'm cool with. But he tell me it happened by a man. And he said on the strip of that, he said, bro, what you said made me examine why I may have slept with as many women as I did. He said, because I was trying to, I was I always used to say within myself, why would that man try me like that? Do I look, am I, is it something about me that's given? He said, so I would sleep with women because I was trying to fight the urge to not convince myself because he wasn't trying to come into agreement with what the enemy was trying to get his mind to believe. And so, this is what, what happens in the penitentiary. The attack is so strong because ain't nobody gonna care. What they what they thinking is macho and masculinity is bullying. They not gonna they not gonna have enough sympathy, enough empathy to try to sit down with you and be like, man, look, I understand boom, 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 that you need bro, you gotta fight. They not gonna do that because it's gonna put them in the man, oh, you did what? Man, forget him. So, so, they gonna, they want to throw you to the wolves. And you knowing that. And as a man, 
we already have we don't have nobody to talk to. So it ain't like you could go pull up and be like, man, bro, I need to talk to you, bro. I'm trying to fight these urges. What kind of urges are you talking about? Man, bro, you, uh, man, now you ain't got nobody to talk to. So now that you done got forced and you done got caught, you alone, you either trying to act super duper tough because you know you done got caught and you don't want people to think they can fuck you. Or you done got just super duper lame and soft and you just always, you, you, you shattered. You, you, you passed broken. You, you shattered at that point. So now you done went all the way over into that field, into that lane, and the enemy done got you to come into agreement with, it's cool. And now you saying, I ain't, I'm just locked up. It's just, now I'm going to wait, boom, boom. You ain't going to come home with the perverted rainbow game.